In the name of Christ Jesus, dear friends, Pastor Taylor here coming to you from Christ Lutheran Church. Yes, I addressed you as friends. And I address you as friends because of the knowledge of Jesus and what a friend he is to all of us. Perhaps that's one of your favorite hymns, actually. What a friend we have in Jesus. But while we're on the topic of friends, how would you define that word, friend? It's a familiar word, and sometimes those familiar words are hard to define because we know what a friend is. We usually could define a friend by thinking of the friends that we have, and I hope and pray you have many. But how would you define the word? Someone once said this about the definition of a friend. A friend is someone who likes you even though they know you. Now that definition is probably never going to be found in a dictionary, but there's some truth to that definition. A friend is someone who likes you even though they know you. And I guess you could say that's even the essence of friendship. I continue to like a certain person despite the fact that I know their weaknesses, their shortcomings, their faults, and even as I get to know them even more as a friend, I learn more about those things too. So thinking about a friend that way, you might even conclude what a blessing it is to have friends at all. Now if that's true for us as we think about our friends and how we are friends with people. Namely, that a friend is someone who knows you even though, who likes you even though they know you, then that is especially true about our God. Our God's friendship with us is just another example of his, his grace and his love. You see, he knows us. He knows that we're sinners. He knows who we are, what we do, how we think, how we act. And yet, he still loves us. You could say that when it comes to our God, our God knows us better than anyone else. He knows us more than we even know ourselves. And he loves us. What a friend we have in Jesus, right? A friend who lived and died for us while we were still sinners. The Apostle Paul commented on this too. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this while we were still sinners. Christ died for us. And isn't that a beautiful truth? And our Savior God, our our Savior Jesus, still loves us. He knows our every weakness, our every shortcoming, and all of our faults. And his heart still goes out to us as the best friend we could ever ask for or want. One who reaches out to us in compassion and love. Yeah, what a friend we have in Jesus. Perhaps that is one of your favorite hymns. And what a friend we have in Jesus. Someone who likes us. No, no, really, someone who loves us, even though they know us. John 15, verse 13. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. The word of the Lord.